Welcome to our video channel. Today, we would like to discuss the topic that regards to the study of drugs or medicine in the elderly. Specifically, the topic is about prescribing medicine in the elderly patient. Firstly, you have to know that prescribing medicine in young and elderly patients would be different. Human aging is one of major contributors to these differences. The problem is why it is hard to prescribe the drugs in older people. Number 1. Lack of evidence for efficacy in older people. There is little evidence that indicate the effective use of drugs in older people and only a few research have been done which involve people above 65 years old. Usually, older people infrequently recruited in clinical trials and even they are involved in clinical trials, the exclusion criteria will only include healthy elderly rather than weak elderly which may cause the result to be unreliable. Number 2. Adverse Drug Reaction Older people are four times more likely to have adverse drug reaction and approximately one and a half of adverse drug reaction can be avoided by having better prescribing. Number 3. Polypharmacy or the use of five and more medications at the same time. 20 to 40 percent of older people that have multiple diseases require a lot of medicines, thus the drugs cannot be prescribed easily. The study showed 81 percent of the patients that take six or more medication at the same time will increase three to four times adverse drug reaction. So, in prescribing the drugs in older people, it is vital to balance the risks and benefits of drugs to their elderly and choose the most suitable prescribing of drugs. What dose to prescribe? Many drugs usually will be reduced in older people to compensate for age-related changes in response to drugs. For elderly, there are age-related changes in drug absorption from the gut protein binding and volume of distribution, but the medical consequences are minimal. Most of the drug processing in the liver and kidney is maintained in the healthy older people except for those who have disease that are related to them. So, rather than relying on generalization about aging changes in liver and renal function to define dosage, the regulatory authorities now require pharmacokinetic data on older people to determine the dosage. Monitoring Pharmacotherapy because the rate of adverse drug reaction is substantial and in many cases the efficacy of drugs for the older patient is uncertain, so it is important to monitor all the patients on drug therapy closely. Deprescribing There is some evidence for the benefits of reducing medication in subject with polypharmacy. General practitioners have also been encouraged to withdraw medication in the older patient with polypharmacy. However, the prescribing is difficult because there are enormous marketing pressure to maintain the high level of prescribing. As conclusion, the decision to prescribe the medication to older patients should be guided by ethical principles. First, beneficence. What is the evidence for the benefits in the older people? Second, non-maleficence. What are the adverse effects to them? And lastly, autonomy. What does they want? That's all for this video and thanks for watching.